Hi LEGO fans! It's day 22 and like a bad smell I'm still hanging around. We've got four more doors to open and four more heavenly or hideous gifts to pass judgement on. Every day until Christmas Eve, I'll be opening up every door on every LEGO advent calendar, including LEGO Friends, LEGO City, LEGO Star Wars, and LEGO Harry Potter! Yesterday's gifts turned out to be a bit of a bust with one notable exception. LEGO City came last earning one point for this trailer. It does combine with the tractor unit from day 20 to make something much more impressive. But sticking to the rules, we had to judge what was behind the door and it sucked. Coming in third was LEGO Harry Potter, earning two points for this Yule Ball themed music stand and microphone. Second place and three points went to LEGO Friends for this festive red, green and white sled which doesn't work with mini dolls. No! Oh! And in the race for first place there was Snow Contest. This quirky and cool festive snow gonk took calendar gift of the day and four points for LEGO Star Wars. As we embark upon day 22 of my LEGO Advent Calendar door opening spectacular, LEGO Star Wars is in first place with 60 points, and so is LEGO Harry Potter. In third place with 48 points is LEGO City, and not getting invited to the high school disco is LEGO Friends in last place with 45 points. After yesterday's terrible, terrible disappointment, the calendars really need to step up their game today. So let's unleash the horrors that lurk behind every door number 22 of every LEGO Advent Calendar. Today we're kicking things off with LEGO Star Wars, which is definitely one of the better calendars this year. Um, let's see what's behind door number 22. We've got a minifigure, which is always a good thing. And I think this is just a bog standard stormtrooper. I'm sure he'll get shot before the video's finished, but this is a nice thing. And it's always a good day when you get a minifigure from LEGO Star Wars. <laughs> So our first gift from LEGO Star Wars is the perfect minifigure for 2020. Stormtroopers, just like everybody else during this global pandemic, are always missing people. This is the SW0997B variant which has grey squares on the helmet. Like most minifigures, he stands about 4cm tall which is 1.5 inches in Imperial measurements. The weapon of choice is of course a blaster which has a unique safety feature. The Stormtrooper! I mean these guys never hit anything! The printing on this minifigure, which also appears in four other sets, is top notch. The white legs come with black hips and printing for the armour. The torso printing is also really crisp, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. That same attention to detail continues around the back. There's even a thermal detonator which is the last line of defence for a stormtrooper. The best thing about these stormtrooper minifigures is of course the helmet. This is dual moulded from white and black plastic and looks very crisp. But if you look very closely at this one, you'll see the grey details are slightly misprinted. On the side you can see more printed details, and around the back, slightly off-centred, we have some printing for the grey squares. There is another variant of this Stormtrooper which doesn't have that grey printing. Underneath the helmet we have a particularly gnarly facial expression. If I knocked over his drink in the cantina, I'd be really worried. Looking beyond the quality control issue with the printing on the helmet, this is a really really nice minifigure on a day when LEGO Star Wars needs the points. Will this be a hit or a miss when it comes to the scoring? We'll find out in two shakes of a Rancor's tail. Our second calendar for today is LEGO City, so let's see what magic lies behind door number 22. Uh, we have, I guess, <laughs> actually let's get a little bit closer, that actually looks like some kind of uh, speedboat, so yeah, quite a cool little thing, although we don't get many parts here, so uh, we'll put that together and see how it looks. Ah, LEGO City Speedboat, I've been expecting you! On day 20 we got a tractor, day 21 bought us a trailer, and now on day 22 we get something to put on the trailer. If you're a fan of LEGO City, this may look familiar. It's a race boat transporter and a smaller scale version of the 60254 set with 238 pieces. The finished product makes a really cool little gift. However, we have to judge each part of this gift on its own. The speedboat itself is quite a nice little thing. At the back we have a couple of outboard motors, and those are powered by a couple of jet turbines mounted on top of the boat. The bright green hull is long and streamlined as you'd expect to find with a powerboat. And like most of these small LEGO City vehicles, we have a tinted windshield. It's a cool little thing, and as a standalone gift, it's way better than the truck and also the trailer. But will this speedboat power its way to victory and be crowned gift of the day? 
I've got a stormtrooper that says probably not. Our third calendar for today is Lego Harry Potter. And of course we have two little ducks, number 22. And let's see what we got. Ah, we've got a minifigure. Now this is gonna be a duplicate. If you already have the, I guess the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower, you will already have one of these. Uh, mine was actually splinched in the original set. I had to get it replaced. Uh, but this is gonna be Hermione Granger in that pink dress, which was of course meant to be blue in the book, periwinkle blue. Uh, but really nice minifigure this. We shall take a closer look at her. So today's gift from LEGO Harry Potter is the insufferable muggle-born know-it-all Hermione Granger. Like all of the Harry Potter minifigures, she comes complete with a wand and certainly knows how to use it. Hermione is wearing the pink dress she wore to the Yule Ball when accompanying Victor Crumb. In the book, Hermione's dress was meant to be blue. In fact, it was parabenkel blue. Like the other girls we've had in this calendar, the legs are a 1x2 printed part. The continuity of the printing from the torso down onto the legs is almost perfect. We see just a little misalignment here. As you can see when comparing the minifigure to Hermione in the movie, the designers did a great job of capturing all of the details. The dress is low cut at the back and ties around the waist. Like the Patil twins, Hermione opted for a sleeveless dress. Hermione's hair is naturally thick and frizzy and that's not what we see here. I think she may have been using Sleek Easy's hair potion. The hair element is absolutely beautiful and is currently exclusive to this Hermione minifigure in this particular colour. The first Hermione Granger minifigure appeared almost 20 years ago in 2001. Compared to that version, I think she's aged really well. The facial expression is absolutely stunning with a modest smile and I really like those freckles. The alternate expression is positively ferocious. Hermione can be a bit of a badass, especially when she thumps Draco. Mind you, if I had a hole in the top of my head, I think I'd be pretty angry as well. It's always a good day when we get a minifigure out of an advent calendar. But when we get a minifigure like the Stormtrooper and Hermione Granger on the same day, it's gonna make scoring really difficult. Today I saved the best for last and we have the Lego Friends calendar. We are opening up door number 22. And what do we have here? Oh, as I suspected yesterday. Yeah, of course, we got a sleigh yesterday. There was a hook on the back and we are getting a little, um, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, a trailer. That's what we'll call it, a trailer with a little gift. Uh, of course, you know, we will join this to the actual sleigh, uh, but this will be judged on its own merit because we are looking at every gift in its um, daily context. So let's put this together and we will take a look. And so it appears that today's gift from LEGO Friends is a follow-up to yesterday's sled. It's a trailer and it simply clips to the back. Now as ridiculous as it seems, we will be judging what was behind today's door. What we have is a small trailer mounted on runners and a gift. The gift is a nice enough thing and is topped with a trademark LEGO Friends star. But hey, it's a gift and those things never do well. The construction is very similar to the sled we got yesterday. As a standalone thing, I'm really struggling to get excited about this. It's kind of nice, but not on the same level as minifigures. Will it help LEGO friends to win gift of the day? Who are we kidding? And so we have today's identity parade of advent calendar horrors from behind door number 22 of every LEGO advent calendar. LEGO Star Wars busted out another minifigure, a classic Stormtrooper. Did you know that all Stormtroopers carry iPhones? Apparently they couldn't find the androids they were looking for. From LEGO Friends we got part 2 of their sled and trailer combination. LEGO City delivered the third thrilling instalment of their race boat transporter mini build, although we will be judging only the boat today. And finally from LEGO Harry Potter, we got this stunning Hermione Granger in Yule Ball dress minifigure. But which one of these gifts will capture the plans for the Death Star and lead the Rebel Alliance to victory? And which deserves to get a concussion after hitting its head on one of the Tanted 4 blast doors? It's time for some points! Returning to true form, earning last place and one point is LEGO Friends for this sled trailer. It's not the worst gift from LEGO Friends, I'm looking at you Hammy, but it was totally outclassed today. In third, earning two points for LEGO City is a speedboat. It's a nice little thing and completes a great mini build. But on a day with two minifigures, this wasn't enough to keep LEGO City afloat. In second, earning three points for LEGO Star Wars is the Stormtrooper. A nice Stormtrooper it may be, but on a day when we got an A-list character from LEGO Harry Potter, this Stormtrooper had to take one for the team. 
Coming in first earning four points is LEGO Harry Potter for the Hermione Jean Granger minifigure. Unfortunately not an exclusive, but a beautiful minifigure nonetheless. Now we just need Victor Crumb. But do you agree with today's scores? Do I deserve to be in front of a firing squad of stormtroopers for rebelling against the Empire and giving Harry Potter the lead? Or will LEGO friends send their rabid hamster round to bite me after putting an abrupt end to their unexpected, unlikely and undeserved winning streak? As always, I love to know what you think of today's gifts, so drop me a line or two in the comments, and you may just get a mention in tomorrow's video. Reading through yesterday's comments, I think you guys were as disappointed with the lineup as I was. Thankfully, most of you also loved the awesome festive gonk droid. As J. Curl pointed out, I did make threats about what might happen if the gonk droid were to come face to face with a minifigure. Well, this awesome little chap got lucky, and who knows, that may have changed the course of this year's results. Gonk droid aside, Thane Wayne summed up the day nicely. You know things are bad when the sad trombone comes out. Yes, the gift has to be really, really bad to get the sad trombone. Stoltz Eren is predicting that the hamster is going to join forces with last year's flags and form a tat uprising due to my daily abuse. I shall deploy my collection of Galador tat to protect me. Jordan Marolder asked, can I get a shutout? Hmm. I won't repeat what Levon Harut said, but you made me laugh out loud. Tara seemed to like it too, I think we've all got the same dark sense of humour. Gordon Horn did what I was too lazy to do and played the sheet music. Apparently, it was when you wish upon a star. Copyright strike avoided. Finally, Grace chimed in on the cat on the keyboard incident and said her cat would definitely order the LEGO Friends advent calendar. Cats are evil, spiteful creatures and are just waiting for us all to succumb to COVID so they can take over the world. So after today's collection of countless calendar cuties, how is that leaderboard shaping out? Trapped in the Groundhog Day that is last place with 45 points is LEGO Friends who will definitely need a ride on the Polar Express this year. Also taking that ride, in third place with 48 points will be LEGO City. Never ever let it cool guys! LEGO Star Wars is close to dominating the galaxy, coming in second with an impressive 63 points. But using the Confundus charm to stay one step ahead, quite literally, are those wizards at LEGO Harry Potter who sit atop the wizarding world with 64 points and a single point advantage. The rates for 2020 Calendar of the Year is so close even I can't call it. So thanks a million for joining me on the epic adventure that is my annual LEGO Advent Calendar door opening spectacular. Stay safe and I'll see you bright and early Tuesday morning for Day 23!